So this is the, the Christmas podcast, I guess you could say. Um, we all sign off on Friday next week, don't we? So I know everyone's looking forward to that kind of, that breakaway to come back in the new year. Um, but I guess we kind of want to do a bit of a wrap up for the students and then kind of speak about what we've done since last time and then get on to some of the fun stuff. Um, so I guess for those timing in for the first time, um, I'm Connor, I, I'm uh, representing the school of LSE. Um, we'll go clockwise, we'll go with Anne. Yeah, I'm Anthony, uh, my school is DTA. I'm Carter, my school is HSC and SBS, which is Health and Social Care and Staffordshire Business School. So actually, and then we do have Tuesday Forest, but unfortunately she's not very well today. Um, but if you want to get in contact with Tuesday, you can find her details on our website at staffseating.com. Keep looking at two cameras because we've got two lights in our faces. <laughs> Um, so I guess the big question really is kind of what have we been doing since the last cast? Um, it's not been that long, it's only been about two weeks, so there's not a lot going on. Um, I had a week off, so I'm, I'm still very much catching up with these guys. Um, but uh, let's want to go with you again. Yeah, sure. I mean, um, like, like you just said, rightfully so, there's not overly too much going on. Um, I've, I've finally started making some more moves with, with regards to creativity cells. Managed to get a form out there, it's on the Facebook and the social medias. Sign up for it. It's the opportunity for students to essentially create something if they want to create something and they have a creative sort of spark and to sell it in a, in any couple of, well, couple of weeks time I guess. So yeah, currently waiting on on people to sign the form. So please do get some responses in. The more people that respond, the more we can get the university to engage and the more we can do with it. So and it's always an opportunity to make more money, which is the key. So and that's all on our Facebook. So go and look at yeah. all that and click that. And then Carter, what have you been doing? I think I've had a busy two weeks. You know. So we've been dealing with issues with the Stafford accommodation, been dealing with issues for placements for paramedic students and issues with placement for nursing students. Uh, we've been doing work on racial microaggressions video. Uh, we're doing the sustainability challenge, which is a panel of ideas for a challenge for sustainability. <laughs> and we have, as you can imagine, ramped up the holiday planning to be more. And uh, one on the topic, so the suspendability, what uh -huh. challenges did we submit, just so people know? So we submitted uh, some more living walls, so the walls outside the Henry and Media Centre on the Stoke campus, a, a green wall of greenery, we wanted another one of those. We submitted an idea, an idea for a pilot test of food waste and composting in halls. They shut that one down, they didn't like that one. Not completely didn't like it, they, want, they, they were okay with it, but they thought there might be an issue with contamination. We've got one, we've got one through, so, so we've got one. And then some more planters as well, so like boxes of flowers and stuff outside the campus to make it nicer. And do we have a timeline of when we'll see those Ooh, about, just so people soon. know? Soon. So before Christmas soon. or, or uh, people coming back? They've not been accepted yet by university exec, so they're going to those to be confirmed to see what ones will go through. And ours, our other two have been put forward with five other ideas into one group of one idea, basically. We're now a mega group. So we, we can expect to see changes shortly. Yes. Um, and then obviously with the university, we've been kind of looking at that uh, uh, the student voice aspect towards Christmas with the question of all I want for Christmas, where students have the chance to kind of ask the university what they want to change. So um, I'll go back with you because I know you sent through to Ella. So what, what was it you asked the university for Christmas? So I asked, I asked the university to, for Christmas to go back to normality because that is what I would very much like. But also after thinking, I want some more green areas and I think sustainability challenge will help that. Okay. And then if you could ask the university for anything for Christmas? A Lamborghini. I really, really think <laughs> I deserve a Lamborghini. Because honestly, I just think I've done a great job. No, I'm joking. Uh, I think for me, I think the key one is, is I jump on the back of the bank and return, return, uh, regard sorry, to, to sustainability a bit more for sustainable campus and having people back. I think. I think that's kind of, for me, it's about having people and having that vibrancy on campus again. Yeah, I really I miss having people around and just being able to just crack on and chat and catch up and just having food in Ember would be nice. The burgers are a killer, so I... Make but me hungry. I'm losing weight because of it, so it's fine. <laughs> I guess that kind of ties in what I said. So I wanted more like um, more seating areas, so yeah. I really like the idea of, 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 of winter seating, but then sitting outside with the beer in summer, so I asked for more like uh, pagodas with fairy lights. Mm. Just, we have so many like empty spaces, why don't we put seats in there and then yeah. people can go and just sit and chat. Um, so I guess they all kind of tie in really well, actually. Um, I guess we'll see the outcomes of those, I'm guessing, after Christmas and kind of see what other students said as well. Um, so I'll be kind of curious to see what, what students think the main things are. I'm guessing we'll get maybe Lamborghinis, but def hey. definitely normality <laughs> as well. Um, 
So I, I, I popped a quick part on there just, just to let students know, really, because obviously we are having some time off. I think everyone needs a bit of that rest. Like The whole union team um, has been putting a lot of effort in, but we are still going to be here. So we're all doing, I think we're all doing a day each, aren't we, over Christmas? Yeah. So apart from Christmas Day and Boxing Day, um, students need to be aware that we are on the end of the phone still. So if you have any questions, you can call in, and it could be one of us lovely guys with our voices answering you. It could be uh, our CEOs, it could be Ella from Marketing, it could be Danny, it could be anyone, so keep that in mind. Um, I guess another big thing is the leadership race has started coming up, so we're in December. I know we spoke about this last time, so... Um, Put them up. <laughs> it's, it's one of those things, so it's a great lot of fun, but I really think we should get students thinking about it, whether that be for, well, technically our jobs... Um, or uh, uh, importantly societies and committees yeah. because um, we need people to lead there um, hopefully next year we'll see a bit of those getting back into normality again um, but you need to plan for COVID in case um, so I guess in terms of elections obviously like we spoke about last year why we ran um, and, and, the, and the things we thought but what would be your top tip for students so what, what would you think the number one piece of advice you could give to someone running would be work harder than everybody else no um <laughs> Find a really good theme that people can just kind of get down with. Uh, we had a gentleman last year who applied who might be applying again this year called Hugh. Smashed it. Everything, every post you saw about <laughs> you had a pun about music or something. Yeah, those puns were from me, thank you. Well, there All you go. of his campaign Stop puns helping the enemy. Me. Stop helping the enemy. What are you doing? He did my post, um, so it was mutual. So, yeah, find a theme. And, I, and going off the back of mine, I, used, I stole the uh, Prison of Azkaban serious black theme, put it into like a Wild West sort of theme and used that for mine. I thought that went down really, really well. Not to give you all my ideas, I still go run again. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's you know really having something that makes you stand out from the crowd. And then, which is the key one, is having a good manifesto to back it up. Because if you yeah. don't, what's like you're not going to get very far. Because you can get out of someone's interest by having a like you know nice, pretty color on the book. But if the book's not got any good content, what's the point? So I think for me, definitely have a good theme and mm-hmm. really think about what your manifesto is going to bring to the table because that's that's a key one right there. Because I remember seeing you had you had like your um, were they, were they, it was like pallets, wasn't it? Like your big sign yeah. pallets. Like you saw them in the ground, you saw them hanging from trees, like traditional wood, like I, cowboy style. Yeah, I grinded a long day of just cutting sawing wood because I like I like being practical like that and mm-hmm. just earning my wage essentially and I, I made a lot of signposts <laughs> well I think, I think that kind of points to uh, when you, you can use whatever materials you want as long as it's everyone can get access to it so if you find a pallet behind a building use, use the pallet, the pallet. <laughs> yeah. if you find cardboard and someone says you can have it you're allowed to use it and yeah. it's just it's, it's make use of what you've got isn't it yeah 100% so what would your top tip be mine's a lot simpler than that don't doubt yourself um, you might not think you can do it but you can so before I was an officer I was incredibly nervous about everything, every little thing, nerves, everything. Couldn't campaign properly, could I? I couldn't go and talk to people. I don't think anyone could, because COVID was no, like just well, on the, yeah, on the edge true. of it, wasn't it? But like, I couldn't go out and talk to people. Mm-hmm. It was really hard for me. And now here I am as, as, a, as an officer, and I can talk I guess to that anyone. kind of shows you what, what the job can do for you, though, yeah. doesn't it? So it takes you from A to B and kind of develops you as a person yeah, anyway. Yeah, exactly. So you might not think that you can do it. But you can, it teaches you to do it, even the, even the race teaches you to do it. So, so that, that, that week of elections kind of brings you out your skin a bit more, do you think, as well? Yeah. Because I'm, I'm, I'm quite an actually confident person anyway, so I don't notice that side of it, but it helps me in terms of my verbal speaking mm. and listening. Um, sometimes I, can, I have an issue of talking over people, um, but it teaches me to kind of take a step back and just hear what people think. That kind of what you were saying around the manifesto. Yeah. Um, I think with my top tip, it would be, be kind, of, kind of like what Anne said with the manifesto, which is have a good manifesto. So... <laughs> The reason you get elected is is because you're addressing issues that might be relevant to you, but the main thing is you you can't you you, you can only vote once for yourself. So make sure the people that you're you're asking to vote for you are the people that you've listened to. So um, I did my tactic was uh, the student written manifesto. So every part of it, I'd ask the student ask students what their issues were, and I kind of bubbled it together and then made it off of that. Um, so there's your three top tips, which I think will actually be really useful. So coming into January, elections will be opening. So suggest your friends. Make sure you have a look at it, because I want a big race and I want to see lots of people. It is a bundle of fun. Um, my favourite part. Mm. So if everybody who's watched Hot Fuzz... Not me. Never... Oh, well, oh okay. I've watched it, Hot Fuzz. but I don't remember specific things. Okay, well, Hot Fuzz, there's this character called Sergeant Angel. <laughs> Angle? Angle, exactly, Angle. And he gets annoyed by the press a lot, and they ask him questions, they get his name wrong. And the one question that comes in comes up is what's your perfect Sunday and because we're at Christmas I changed it to what's your perfect Christmas dinner mm. 
So if you could round up your Christmas dinner, what would it have? What would it be? Just all the meat. Meat. Don't don't touch me with none of that Brussels sprout bollocks. Okay. I want some real, real meat. You know, bit of turkey, bit of beef, bit of chicken. Mm. Gammon. Gammon. I did see some. I went shopping with with the partner yesterday, and there was there was gammon galore. Most of the pork is gone, but there was there's gammon, and it had the word crackling on it, and I just kept staring like, mm. you know, crackling like. Thick, did it crackling. end up in the, in the trolley? No, I bought three pig. Legs because they're full of fat and I can cover them with sea salt. That's nice. Cool. No, it doesn't sound nice to me. No, what's what's yours? I don't really know. Um, but like twelve people sat in my front room. That's probably like this kind of stuff. That is tiny, all around one so table. So what would be what would be your if you look at a plate? Oh yeah, this is on the whole table, so we have to spread it all out. But is it kind of like a tapas where you pick, you people pick a little bit, bits yeah, again? Yeah, you just put everything on there and you pick and juice. But like pigs and blankets. My mum does a lot of veg, but it doesn't always get eaten. No, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not what you're here for. The meat, everyone looks Yeah. yeah. Uh, stuff in. A lot of gravy. We like gravy in my house. We usually do a few kinds of meat and then my sister's vegetarian on and off. So we usually have to do some kind of veggie option for her. So she gets a lot to herself? Yeah, basically. She, she has all the veg. That. Uh, but I don't know, we usually do chicken and beef, sometimes a bit extra. My grandma makes uh, Christmas puddings, or she keeps them for two years and then eats them. See, when yeah. you say puddings, you've both missed over my favourite part. What's your favourite part? Oh. Yorkshire puddings. Mm. Also roast potatoes. Yeah. Crispy, crispy potatoes. Yeah, yeah like, like m- my mum has this tactic where she'll soak them in like uh, oil and lard. And then oven bake them and they go like super crispy. That's like, so bad for you, but it's like the dirtiest, tastiest thing in the world. But I remember we did these things in the venues, which are the giant Yorkshires, mm. where you shove them full of food with gravy. And it's just like, you just dig in. Like, oh, I'm getting hungry now. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, next topic, I've got changes on campus. So, like we were saying with sustainability, there's going to be a few things going on. I was really lucky to have a tour of uh, Catalyst today. Um, go online if you want to see some photos, because it's just cement at the moment. Um, but like we are saying, students can expect to see kind of a lot of things on campus um, going on, if you could see uh, any 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 kind of new buildings, what would it be? What would you choose to do? So if you could change one building or put something new up, what would you do? Um, I don't think we utilise the side of buildings enough. I think the only building I, I see that you know is like big poster on it is this one right here, Mellow. It's mm-hmm. got a big the big banner. I think we really start, and, and then obviously the side of this building, which is our faces, which is great. <laughs> it's always a little, it's always nice to see you have that like cheeky grin and be like, yeah, I was really tired that morning. Oh, it's me. Um, yeah. Um, but I think I think if we really start to like, if we could, if they could let us get away with it, really have maybe the artists just start drawing some like really nice artwork mm. on the side. Of the kind building. of like you see in the main cities. Yeah, yeah, like really, I think that'd be a really nice touch to campus. I think it'd really add to its character uh, to have that sort of artwork and even to give the students that project. Like I yeah. left that and that's that I did that. I think that'd be really nice. I think that's right because we do we do it inside of buildings a lot. Like we did it with the um, I can't remember the name of the room now. It's in the bottom Miller. Mm. Smart zone. So in the smart zone, we have all the students design the walls and the designs. But yeah, if you can't see it, if it's only inside. So yeah, I think yeah. getting outside is really good. And, and so where would you go with that? I don't really know. I like that idea of, of more drawings. It'd make the campus more lively as well. But I, I, don't, I don't know specifically. See, I, 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 I really like our esports labs, but I think we need more of them. Because we have two esports labs with one huge course now. Well, three years of one huge course, so I think we need more of those. That's what I'd do. But like I said, I still want more outdoor seating. Mm. Yeah. I think more green walls. Just I think just more to walls. look at. So like, I think I think you've both kind of got the, the thing, which is we, we look very, would you say old-fashioned? Yeah, we're so super, super old-fashioned. We just look like corporate buildings, don't we, really? Um, We've got think... really techy inside, but the outside, you look at them, it's just a brick wall, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I know they are looking to do it, some of the buildings over on the library over there, but I think I think it's uh, maybe it's something we can bring up. Mm. I think what we need is to have Ember, just have a massive pagoda over Ember, and then just have like a walkway through, and then you could just have cheer, tables, chairs, Funny and story. have live music outside. Hey. Funny story. So when they started, when these buildings were first put together like that, mm. um, outside of Ember, where you've got that white little tent, that, that the whole of that um, Ember Square was meant to be roofed. Mm. So it was meant to be like a kind of tunnel you'd walk through and then everyone could sit outside. Yeah, really um, nice. But obviously that didn't happen. 
So yeah. it's kind of like, imagine if, it, imagine if it was different now, it'd be quite nice. And then, you know, summer beers, a bit of music. You can't really argue with it, can you? Well, I think for me, it's like, I don't know. So I lived in Cyprus for a while and I lived in a place called Nicosia, which is like one of the main places. And you walk down their street, they have these, like, basically like these triangular canvases that are above you at different angles, all colourful. Mm. So like you walk through it and it feels like, you, you're not, you, don't, you only have like these things above your head. But it feels like you are indoors. Yeah, yeah. So, but it gives you that kind of vibrancy, and that's I'd love that. I'd love to just walk through it and have all these big, huge. Um, it's just something different. Yeah, it's like it's, it's not even it's not like it's visually appealing. It's just a, a plain tarp, but it, it makes you feel different, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. I, know, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. Um, here's a question I wanted to ask you: what, When do you think students are going to be returning after Christmas? What's your kind of guess? Because obviously, there's been all that information released about the student windows. Um, students being told if they're not a practical course to come back from the 25th of January to I think it's the 9th of Feb which is a two week window again but when do you think students will start coming back do you think students are going to stay over Christmas? I, uh, I think I think we're going to have a nice healthy balance to be honest I think there's going to be a lot of students who want to stay because obviously the health and safety reasons for their families or whatever and you know it's one it might be their first Christmas away from home so mm. they might, would, you might just want to stay with the housemates uh, and two I think the come back thing I think that'll it's hard because it's so drawn out, you never quite know. And with exams coming up in the middle of January or second week of Jan, thereabouts, first week, second week, um, I think I think students will have to populate because of that anyway. But having a full set of people on campus, I think you're really going to struggle to about the first of week of Feb, to be honest. Mm. Yeah. I really do. You think the same thing? I'd say so. For context, we have 71 people signed up for our Christmas dinner. There you go. Takeaway. Uh, so the 71 people or students on campus and off campus on Stoke at staying on Christmas Day. Hmm. So there's still some, like nearly 100, and that's just that have signed up. So there's still quite a few staying, but I don't know when everyone's going to come back for them. Mm. I, think there's a lot, I think, obviously, like we say, COVID has, has made a lot of contributing factors this year. Mm. Um, it's my first Christmas ever away from home as well, so I'm, I'm one on that list along with Hannah. Um, but I think the thing is, a lot of students have said they're, they're a bit scared they won't be able to come back after Christmas, because obviously that with the new government guidance, you can have multiple households on Christmas Day, etc. And obviously two weeks after that is kind of that period where people start coming back. So we don't, I don't think any of us really know what to expect. I don't think anyone does, do they? Yeah. And it's just kind of, kind of that go with the flow. Um, like I said, I think, I think it'd be nice to have a lot of our students back. And obviously with the vaccine being handed out now, I think we'll start to return to a bit of normality here and there. Um, but it's still going to be um, a long while. Mm. But no, I guess from us and everyone at the union, um, Merry Christmas. Yeah. Well, happy, happy holidays. Year. Happy holidays. And a happy new year, depending when your new year is. <laughs> yeah, that's true.